but how is this all related to Fluffy's death? Patience, Inspector. As I was telling you, I had some inopportune results with hypnosis. It took too much time for how low our success rate was. It was close to ceasing everything. That is, until someone gave me a peek of what was happening at Buck Pox Furniture. She went to Fluffy's house, but not alone. With a powerful ally? It's somebody strong. As strong as Pavlov, but... Why? Yes, Pavlov was with me. But you know nothing of Fluffy's true identity. Without Pavlov, there was no way I could hope, never hope to defeat him. Never mentioned Pavlov to me some time ago. And when I met him, Pavlov's potential was immediately visible. Clearly an asset we wanted on the team. I knew we'd need to do a thorough job with him, so we used a special method just for him. Classic conditioning and using a bell to boot. Precisely. It took far longer than we imagined. But the restraining was so important and impactful it didn't matter. Retraining was so impactful it didn't matter. He was ready to go by the time the box furniture intel arrived. But intel? It's quite interesting. You know that box furniture has an R&D department with an enormous budget. Very high-tech stuff they produce. Odd for a cardboard company, no? They're experimenting on a new technology for collecting info on their different boxes. They called it barcodes. Use some kind of laser on it and can edit them on a computer. I can't be bothered with the details, but who so who cares? But during the initial tests, the laser made a red dot on the wall. All the scientists in the room went crazy jumping all around, fighting like primitive animals, and it was even more effective on dogs. It triggered their desire to hunt prey. That sounds terrible! I would never want to be like that! Dear police dog, don't you worry. You might enjoy being a bit more... hero. So, just to be clear, you went to... Fluffy's house was Pavlov, and under your orders, he flew Fluffy through the window. Yes, I found some interesting info on his computer, which led me to... ...who had possession of Laser's blueprint. You stole it and murdered that cat in the street. Ooh, you're finishing my sentences. What's his name? Or off of a dollar bill, I suppose. Okay, I get that you were behind these two murder murders. Yeah. They've got a little friendly fire to them. Okay. But you're wondering about the fake leads, yes? Mm, yep. Sure, sure. Quite proud of those, you know. What would you like to know? Fake Polaroids of both victims. Of course. Those were for patches. Planned on you being out of the picture by the time we found the second one. And without you or pancakes. Well, none of us were surprised by how poorly he handled the case from there. All of which was the second part of my plan. Patches would believe that Maple was the next target. I stopped to think twice before heading to Maple's office. And so, off we went to quietly pocket the ruby we needed, without any police interference. They were all looking for a threat that didn't exist. <laughs> I know, I know. I'm quite the genius. Any other false leads you'd like to discuss?
secret underground cult. That was specially made just for you, Inspector. I needed to make sure I wouldn't be disturbed while stealing the ruby for the laser. It's the best way to keep you out of my fur. You're too much of a threat to my plans. I'm the only one who could challenge me intellectually. Oh, besides pancakes, of course. But I don't need to paint you a picture now, do I? Why not just kill me, though? For the fun of it, Waffles. It was far more enjoyable to watch you stumble and falter and lose the respect of your team. I'm not a psychopath, after all. Debatable, but please go on. I know you leave no stone unturned. Your personal life may be a mess, but you're a perfectionist when it comes to detective work, even if you do have minimal respect for procedure. So why not simply plant some fake clues in your case? Sure, it needed extra time in planning. Getting into Erwin's house or finding 30 cats for a cult. A lot of preparation was needed. But I knew the payoff would be worth it. We must enjoy the little things, you know? It really was a treat to watch unfold. I almost owe you thanks. I should have known better. Should have seen through those clues. Oh, don't blame yourself. I did incredible work orchestrating all that. And you really couldn't have been expected to know any better. The plan worked to perfection. We had the ruby. The cannon was ready and secure. Everything was going very smoothly. Decided to lay low for a bit and headed to the nearest safe house. When we arrived, we saw both of you there with Pavlov leaving the cotton candy shop. So I did something I detest. I changed my plan. You had uncovered too much of it, so I decided to deploy the laser as soon as possible. And I suppose you saw the thought the same. So here you are, trying in vain to stop me. Got that right. Too late now, my friends. We're only waiting on patches to let everyone out because of the pending threat. And then, showtime. We initiate the laser and create what I love most in this world. Chaos. Can hardly wait. It's such a powerful feeling. One that I deserve for all my hard work. But patches is being a bit slow as you could expect. So while we're waiting, I guess this means it's my turn to ask questions. I hope you'll be as respectful as I was and answer with complete honesty. My first question is a simple one. Why did you go to see Mallow in prison? Why did you want to interrogate him? And to what end? I wasn't linked to Fluffy's death, after all. Actually, I found a hair in Fluffy's office. It belongs to you. DNA match and all. Mark. Let's see. In spite of perfectly executing every step of the way, the only betrayal was by my own fur. One of my crew secured a key pass that would allow me through Fluffy's bathroom to the top floor. Pavlov couldn't have done the job on his own, so I had to be there. Oh well, it doesn't matter anyhow. The only difference is that he had a small preview of my return to the spotlight. <laughs> he knew I was involved in one way or another, but how did you find the safe house? How did you make the connection to the shop? I cannot figure it out. Body picked up on a sugary trail back at the station. We followed without any idea what we'd find along the way. It's your little friend here who did all the work. I wasn't expecting that at all. And why would that be? This body is a talented sniffer dog. No, not that. If 
never been the type to ask another police cat or dog for help on a case. But you're not ashamed to call your little mommy, are you? Do you know how many times you called her during your investigation? Nine. Quite a few times indeed. Do you plan on cutting the apron strings at some point, Inspector? Anyways. Ever since Pancake fell from the roof, you devolved into a loner and a milkaholic. But good for you, Waffles. Happy to see you back on your paws. Such a shame you've got other issues to deal with now, though, yes? Wait, do you hear that sound? That's the sweet music of a crowd in motion. It's time to start our little machine. Pepper, are you ready? Don't forget to shield your eyes from the outside. Spotty, you know what to do, remember? Fired. A couple of weeks later. Hey, hi, can I get everyone's attention? Some of you know I've decided to leave the department. Been in the force for more than ten years and uh now it feels like the right time to do something different. While investigating Fluffy's case, I made a lot of mistakes. Like, a lot. And I know everyone goofs at some point, but I wanted to be honest about my abilities with myself and all of you. To be frank, the situations could have been a lot worse without the dedication we saw from Spotty and Waffles. If not for them, I could have made an even bigger mess. I owe them both a debt of gratitude. I was worried they'd get along like cats and dogs, but I'm very happy to see I was wrong. Oh, sure. You're welcome, Chief. Pixel, you too. Everyone who works here. Really. I'll miss each of you. Miss you too, Chief. Do you know what you're going to do? I think so. I always say to everyone I meet that I'm a gourmand. It's time to put my food where my mouth is. You'll all see soon enough. You aren't going to say? I'm curious. No, no, it's a surprise. But you're all on the invite list. Croissant for peanut, cinnamon coffee for mocha, hot dog for Spotty. It'll be my treat. Speaking of, has anyone seen Spotty? Not sure. Let's find him before celebrating. Good idea, Chief. Now we're cooking with gas. One last fun for the road, huh? Forever and always. He'll be missed, Patches. By everyone here. No need to be sentimental, Waffles. It's time for me to head out. But before that... Let me introduce your new chief. Everybody, please give a warm welcome back to Pancakes. Hey everybody, I'm uh, not good at making speeches, but here we are, so I've got to do it. Mayor Cookie is going to join us later, so one long and tedious speech will be more than enough for all of us. Friends, you cannot imagine how happy I am to be back here with each of you. Just being able to work again is a treat. Many times I thought it would be impossible for me both physically and emotionally. But you're all so kind and gracious to me while in recovery. I'll never forget what you've done for me. I feel better than I have in a long time. And I can't wait to work alongside the team again. We're going to do some amazing work for the city. That's all from me for now. It's time to enjoy our party. I'd like to propose a toast. Wait. Waffles, could you find Spotty for us? How do I make a toast without our favorite sniffer dog? Oh, yeah, back in a minute. Hey, Waffles. How you been? I haven't seen you at Metal Heart lately. Hi, Cha. I've been doing some DIY work, I work at my apartment. I think I'm going to take better care of it than be I did before. But I'll be back to the Metal Heart soon. It'll be good to hang out if you're going to be there. What are you doing here at the party? I just wanted to say goodbye to Patches. Came to pick you up from the bar so many times. I feel like I know him almost as well as I know you. Oh, cool, cool. Very cool. It's 
expect or ask her out. Everyone is waiting. What? Maybe the best inspector in town, but you have zero clue when a girl likes you. Aren't you supposed to be at the buffet with everyone else? No. Lucas says I'm not allowed to be near the buffet until everyone has at least one plate. Last time I got there first and ate pretty much everything. People were upset. That's not important now. You're talking with your friend. I'm not going to interrupt you anymore. I've said what I needed to say. Um, I can hear you two whispering. He's not wrong though, Waffles. When are you going to ask me out? I... Mm, I don't like being put on the spot like this. Yes? Do you want to get a drink sometime? Waffles. I own a bar. It's the last thing I want to do in my spare time. True. Well, um, you'll figure it out. I'm going to chat with Patches. See you soon. Mind if I ask you something? Sure, Peanut. Is she going to be your girlfriend? I like her. I'm going to go look for Spotty and pretend I never heard your question. Okay, the buffet is that way, which should mean is outside. Hey, buddy. What are you doing out here? We're all waiting for you. Oh, I'm coming. Just give me a minute. What's going on, Spotty? I already told you. It's just sometimes for, for, I prefer to be alone. Ah, nay, hey, listen. You and I are alike, you know. When I asked for help with Fluffy's case, I didn't really want you around. Well, not for too long, at least. I didn't think anybody could prove useful. I was afraid of getting close to anybody else. You stuck around. You were a wonderful friend to have around. The best partner I could have asked for. Just don't tell that to Pancakes. <laughs> Inspector? I really don't know what to say. I... Well, inside the station, there are a bunch of friends at the party waiting to see you. Take your time if you need to be alone for a bit, but enjoy the good moments when you can. Don't let them pass by. Right now, it's one of those moments. Spotty? Earlier, Inspector, did you say we're friends? Yes, friends. And please, just call me Waffles. I... Yeah... That was a really cool game. I love the call your mom for help mechanic. It is hilarious. Um, I missed one of the cards. I imagine there's something extra if you get all eight. Parents, my sister, my grandparents, and their incredible support through the years. A big thanks to Philip, Stephen, John, Baptiste, Alex, Antoine, so else. Uh, I missed all the names. Kidnapped catnip finishers. I'm guessing those were all testers. Wooper. <laughs> Made with Unity, Marmoset, Hexels, Dotween, and FMOD Studio by Firelight Technologies. Veloso Games 2021. Ah, there's a little post credits. Yeah, I missed one card. Yeah, I really enjoyed it. Um I don't know off the top of my head how much this one is, but this one'll make its way to the YouTube eventually, as always if you miss a live stream. Um Mondays are a little bit behind, but eventually everything ends up on the YouTube and they're just they're the Twitch bots cut into episodic links. 
and Twitch VODs are up for 60 days. Hello, Erwin. Got some good news to share. Presenting your wall ball collectible card album. Oh, what a relief. Thank you so much. It's all yours now. Have a good day. Wait, let me check the cards inside. Oh, darn. Some rare cards are still missing. Yeah, sorry. I wasn't able to find all of them. No, oh, still better than nothing. Thanks for your dedication, Inspector. Hmm, would have been interesting to see what happened if I had found all the cards. Well, too late now. Can't do the, redo the adventure. Or can I? 